Hey everybody. Long time no see. <laughs> Long time no see. Uh, we decided at a last minute trip to go to Mexico. We actually looked over the place in the Caribbean, but due to current... Um, Flights booking up like freaking crazy. Yeah. We had already booked the Dominican Republic and couldn't get a flight. So we had to rebook for Mexico because the flights were easier out of Texas. So now here we are in Puerto Morales, Mexico, which is like mm -hmm. 20 minutes south of Cancun, kind of past south of the airport, um, kind of across the way from Cozumel. Um, we're staying at the Dreams Sapphire Resort. Now, switch, just switched over to Dreams Sapphire from now, now Resorts. Sapphire. We're not sure if it's the same company or not, but it's part of AM Resorts. Um, we wanted we, to give another all-inclusive a try mm -hmm. because Grand Fiesta was so fa really fantastic. So yeah. we, you know, Round two. Yeah, and one of the reasons we're here actually is we're using some points that I had um, in our stay last From six months the in, in, at the Hyatt. So we're using the World of Hyatt points. Um, we got upgraded, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, since I stayed so long enough at the hotel, I got yes. I got the I'm, I'm now a globalist, which is kind of fancy. So they upgraded us to this. Uh, and trust me, he uses every opportunity given to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, Just so, so, so you know. So Shout out to Sadie, who's been <laughs> listening to it for a while too, our friend. Yeah, but uh, we'll stick with us for the next couple few days. We'll be here five uh, five nights, six days. Um, we actually got in last night. We show you that is that but we're gonna show you we were beat man we took a big nap <laughs> we also wanted to, wanted to kind of celebrate um amanda and just hang out with her for a little bit so uh, we didn't really vlog anything last night but this morning so now we're going to show you guys what the resort's like but stick around for our vlogs of sapphire dreams cancun early birthday trip mm -hmm. Woo -woo. Hey guys, welcome back to the old channel. We have a different video today, guys. I know we've done some good, bad, and the uglies in past, but we've got another one for you today. Currently, we are at Dreams Sapphire Resort and Spa in Puerto Morales, Mexico, which is about 30 minutes outside of Cancun, like south. from the airport south. Mm -hmm. oh. This was a last minute trip. <laughs> let's, let's put that forward. This was a last minute trip for my birthday a couple of weeks early because we had some other things going on around my actual birthday. So we did book this very last minute. And we used points uh, through World of Hyatt. Uh, you guys know, maybe yeah. know. One you more reason. <laughs> 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 um, but we did we did book this last minute uh, with my points. I've been staying at a hotel while well, I haven't been vlogging uh, the past six months or so. So I've used those points for take minute to, to a birthday getaway, if you will. Yes. Um, due to flights and things, we couldn't really find anywhere else to go besides Cancun. That's the most We originally flights. booked the Dominican Republic and could not get a flight. Things were sold out. So you know, we're Southwest Hardcore and <laughs> all their flights were, they're gone. Yeah. So we wanted to talk to you guys. We're actually we're leaving this resort earlier than we thought, going to a different resort uh, We've only in the here area. One full day. Yeah, and we were not impressed, and I'm so impressed that we actually uh, called and asked her out early to go to go somewhere else. And let me tell you, we gave it a good college try. Like we really tried, guys, and that's part of why we spent a full day and like the half a day on like our actual travel day. So we have some things. We're gonna do it. Good, bad, and the ugly of Dream Sapphire and put them around. Gonna go my my phone for notes so we can yeah. get this all accurate here. So let's start with the good. Yeah, this is actually being filmed the morning that we're leaving, so that's <laughs> hence the wet hair and the quick speaking. Okay. So let's start with the good stuff. Good stuff. First one we thought was really cool. We'll put some pictures in here, but the size inclusive seating. Um, a lot of the chairs don't have arms on them. Mm -hmm. um, the entertainment venues they'll have like love seats, so we actually could fit three people on there if we wanted to. And they even um, have that like in the reception area and like around the bars. They have big sofas and mm -hmm. stuff for you to sit in that don't have arms. And in the restaurants, same thing, big chairs. Even the loungers out in the pool. Sometimes they have those just cheesy plastic ones. Mm -hmm. Not the yeah. case here. Um, so they did, they're on <laughs> point with for people of size. If you want um, um, seating, that's that's good. Not worried about where to sit. Mm -hmm. This is the place for you. I was really impressed by that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, among like the top things that I really liked. They also have size inclusive beach towels. Like we all know when we go to places like this and the towels are like this big and we just hate our life because we're like, well, I'm just gonna, you know, dry off with a square is kind of how it feels. But here they have big, massive, huge beach towels. They wrap all the way around you a couple of times, even as a bigger person, it does a job. Mm -hmm. um, next thing that we have in here is friendly staff. The front we never had anybody rude staff anywhere, but mm -hmm. uh, friendly here, just like other resorts we've been to, they're 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 top they're notch. They're not the reason we're leaving. No, they're definitely not the they're reason. They're wonderful. We're um, and then next thing is drinks. Drinks are awesome. Good drinks. They don't skip on the alcohol. No. Um, what they places don't make they, them they seem to make it lighter or whatever? This place is not that <laughs> case. No. Uh, every drink we've had. Yeah. We, go, we, we have to go up, up our stairs kind of feeling a little bit loozy and that's the other thing we'll talk about here in a minute but, but what's nice too <laughs> is you can bring your big like 32 ounce like 
insulated cups. Yeti, Arctic, whatever you want to do, Walmart brand one. they'll fill it up with your drink and hand it to you and be like, see you in five minutes. So, like, they're really great, great with that. Also, the entertainment's really good in the evening. Like, why? Are they fixing something? Maybe. Okay, we're just going to have to power through with that. Um, entertainment's really great. So, in the evenings, they've had entertainments. We've seen two shows. When we got here Monday night, it was supposed to be a fire show. We're excited about that. We saw the, the videos, the YouTube videos uh, on that, and they had an outdoor show where they did the flat fire and spin cool. around. Looked really, really cool. But the weather did not cooperate, so they kind of redid it. And I have some videos up on Instagram that we'll in, in put here. But they did like a a black light show, which was really super kind of cool. You could tell it was the same kind of people because they were spinning everything. And then last night it was like a human circus, not kind of like Cirque du Soleil, but like maybe yeah, they had the lady with the maybe, maybe a Poor man's Cirque du Soleil. I don't know what to call them that. Like that. <laughs> That's not offensive, but yeah, that a, a lower, a lower budget one. But yeah, uh, they they had juggling things, and which, it which was, was really, it was. I really was good. entertained. They brought some kids uh, up on stage, like jump over them, you know, and it was cute. It was mm -hmm. it was really cute. So they're good that way. Yeah. Uh, next thing is uh, they have good quality liquor. So yes. uh, now we got upgraded to preferred clubs. Summit Global is with high, which is the highest tier you can go of of things. Um, yeah, I don't mean to be breaking, but we but they have a separate area for everything, and they had Johnny Walker Black, and they had other other things that were really. So you get really good quality liquor here if yeah. that's your jam. Um, I don't tend to care, but those who do, you got but you, even, you can get what you want. But even that being said, like the regular bars and stuff had really good liquor, so I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that. Although I saw we talked to this one lady yesterday, and she said she upgraded just because she wanted more double light. I don't know if that's even a thing, but <laughs> okay, eat your own. <laughs> Last thing on our good list is an enforced dress code. Now I know this sounds really weird, but in the restaurants, the nicer restaurants. They have dress codes and they enforce them. And I personally really appreciate that because, <coughs> sorry, allergies. If they're going to put a dress code up that you have to dress a certain way and then you let somebody in with flip flops and a swimsuit and like a cover up, that always pisses me off. And so they don't do that here. The dress code is as posted and they enforce it. Like we watched them turn multiple people away um, when, we went, when we went to one of those restaurants on our first night here. Yeah. So now the bad. Um, this is kind of so our, 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 our meat is kind of the bad stuff. Um, <laughs> well, the one we're actually on the third floor right now, no elevator, um, and I never would complain about that. Feels... But once I'm I'm hot and humid, and if you have a little bit of drinks in you, it's kind of hard to get up the stairs. And it's it, and this also sounds terrible, but it's that really slippery. It's not marble. It's like, like marble. The, that glassy um, kind of stuff. So it's like okay, if you're drunk. You're walking up three flights of stairs and you're wet. You're slipping in flip flops. It's not you're the gonna greatest hurt combination. Yourself. And so for me, it just doesn't feel safe. And the whole, so the whole uh, resort's that way. They all have uh, three everywhere. stories everywhere. And then um, the room is like that too. So like if you slip and slide all the way up the stairs, you're going to slip and slide all through your room until you can get out of your swimsuit. Right. And we actually weren't able to even get uh, a ground floor. It was only after we sent them to the management. Um, they actually they offered good things, but it was too late. We already asked to check out. Yeah. So um, that's one of those deals. It's just, it's just the way the resort was built. I get it. Um, maybe we're being whiners about the issue, but I just, I'm, we're not used to having to, it's supposed to be a leisurely time. I have to put a lot of effort into what you're doing. Um, so yeah, third floor kind of kind of stinks. Not, it's kind of, was not a good surprise for us. One other thing, there's no food service at the pools or the beach. Now for me, I, I personally really hated this because- there's, Well, I, you say the pools and the beach. There, there is one off the pool, but there's really no seating for it. Um, well, the pref like the preferred pool, which is adults only is way at the other end and so if you want to get food you have to get up and you have to hoof it <coughs> why am i coughing you have to hoof it all the way back to the party pool but there's no place to sit over there so then you have to get your food and bring it all the way back and by the time you get there it's cold so it's like and, and, and then also, so they have, they have a, a, an online menu on their app, mm -hmm. and it's all these things that they, they, they have there for you, but you can't order them. You can only no. pick what they have at the buffet It's like done time. buffet style, so you can't, um, like, they have wood-fired pizza, but you can't order a pizza. So I got a veggie pizza, which is, oh yeah, a slice of it, which is a, which was decent, but I just, I wanted a pepperoni pizza, like a little personal pizza to take back with me. Couldn't do that. Yeah. Um, so it was a lot of little things that just add up like this that just really, that, that bum us out. Um, Let's see, the next one, let's see, Preferred Club, let's talk about that. The room, the room wasn't made up to, uh, yesterday. We, we left an actually $20 tip for the housekeeper to say thank you. And it was still in the bed. And it was still in the bed when we came back. We left, we were gone from 8 in the morning until like about 3.30, 3. yeah, 3.30 in the afternoon. So. And then when we called to, when we, when we were wanting to leave, we talked to the lady, she was like, well, your room wasn't made up? We were like, no. 
She's like, did you have the do not disturb? No, like they just didn't come up here. Yeah, and this is, and the next one is you can't swim in the ocean. The ocean right now is really is pretty bad. Um, well, the thing about it is, is I know it's like seaweed season or whatever, but the previous all inclusive that we stayed in at Grand Fiesta Americana, they had seaweed too, but they were really hoofing it to try to get it cleaned up, to try to make it a positive, pretty experience the still. The situation is much worse down here than it is up north. But they're not Canada. even trying. They're just saying, screw it, we're going to leave it. And as a result, it keeps getting washed back into the water, so the water's brown and gross. Like, it's not even a pretty beach view. Like, it ruins the entire beach view for me because it's not pretty. It's not what you expect. And you can't swim. So to me, it just ruins it all the way across mm -hmm. the board. Um, granted, we didn't really see much of the beach because there was nobody out there and you couldn't go, so we didn't stay out there. But far, this is as far as we saw, we didn't see anybody taking care of it. So no, there, no. there's that. Um, see, the preferred breakfast wait time. So there's actually a special club if you're preferred, like what I am, it's a special breakfast place. Um, separate from everybody else and we actually went to go the right when it opened and they said there was at least a half an hour wait for us to get in which seems kind of weird if you're preferred club they should be able to accommodate just to get in there right away um that wasn't the case and so we were able to get in the buffet and get quicker service that was one of the little annoyances that we had that we were excited to try out that they that it was, wasn't convenient so mm. um the next thing uh we got a paper that's saying about the cabana and the cabanas uh, you can rent they're included with our reservation being preferred club mm -hmm. and so it says on the paper that you go at 10 o'clock and you can reserve a cabana for that day at the preferred pool well that's not true you have to go the day before to be able to reserve it for that day and so that miscommunication was really disappointing because we went over there and we were like there's not so those that you yeah those of you that, that go need to just be aware that you need to go, go the, the day, day before. before for the next day because a lot the of the says. like the loungers were already used up and they didn't have a lot of extra no, they didn't ever, have a lot of extra umbrellas or anything like that so if you go at 10 o'clock you're gonna end up in straight sun mm -hmm. and to me I thought to be preferred club it didn't seem like a, a good way to do that yeah it feels like they're doing different things here I'm not sure if there's process of updating from the now resorts and doing that going to the AM resorts I'm not sure if that's still part of their transition their transition but it doesn't feel standardized like things that seem like they're kind of like one of things here that they're not that they're not getting up to par for everything else, other other resorts that we've seen. Because we are, of course, travel agents, and we know we know a lot about AM resorts and what they can provide. And I feel like this didn't really hit the mark for us no. compared to, to what to what we've seen on all the literature and things that they have to offer. So the last thing is the preferred club pool didn't really have any kind of a vibe. Like the party pool had like you know people doing water aerobics, and then they had like a DJ and all that stuff. And, and I understand that as an adults only pool, they want a more relaxing, quiet sort of atmosphere. And it had that, which was great, but it was also missing something because like, I feel like they could have done like spa music or like meditation music or just something to kind of feel the space because it was so quiet. You just got the leftover thumping from the party you pool. You the bass in the party pool. Which was kind of obtrusive. And mm -hmm. so I feel like if they would have had some kind of music playing, even low key relaxation music, it would have helped drown that out and it would have given it some kind of an ambiance versus just you can hear a pen drop, which mm -hmm. was really awkward. Yeah. So real quick, let's get over the ugly because we gotta go get some breakfast before we leave. <laughs> uh, but the ugly, um, no reservations at any of the restaurants. Except for the hibachi table, like if you wanted the, the hibachi. Mm -hmm. This really pissed me off because- That's an understatement. Like really pissed me off because for me, it's like if you're gonna do it this way and you're gonna continue to tell people that there's a 40 minute wait, and see, part of what pissed me off is like last night we went to try to go eat dinner at the Italian restaurant and I saw two four tops and a two top table empty. And the lady was like, it's gonna be 40 minutes. And I'm like, but why? There's three tables right there. Like, it was weird to me. And when we were there an hour earlier before the show, cause we decided to eat after, she gave me another 40 minute wait. So like it didn't change. And so it felt like they were just pushing you off. And so I feel like if it's gonna be that Great crowded, exclusivity that to, to yes, drive up that demand. But like if it's gonna be that crowded, you need you need to do reservations versus just make it feel like you went to a regular restaurant at home. But but granted, they did have a buzzer uh, systems that give you a buzzer. But it's like, well, that's the case. Why not just do reservations? reservations? But that but that's besides the point. It, I that's just irritating me. I yeah, it's frustrating, and then there's no way they're fixing it. Like they like they 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 cared. No. But the other option is one of the things that we we didn't touch on is. We forgot a mask. We went, got ready, came all that, came down, and we usually wear mask people. We like to wear masks. Yeah. Well, they were um, in our beach bag, and I forgot to grab them because we were rushing because we wanted to go to dinner and then make the show. So our alternative was to go to the buffet. The buffet requires masks. So I said, okay. But the restaurants don't. Restaurants. Which I don't. thought was yeah, really stupid. It's like, okay, why do they not? Why? 
Yeah, so it seems kind of weird. Um, but but that being said, like we asked for extra masks, they were out. She said, "Go, you have to go ask the yeah. go ask the front, like, we front desk." Yeah, because like we forgot it. Like we don't have a problem wearing it, um, but I don't want to hoof it all the way back to our room. So then we asked the asked the front desk. Front desk says, "No, we're out the resort wide. Resort wide. It'll be at least two or three days before we get more." And in. I told him, I said, "If and you're gonna require something, you need to have them. Like if people are gonna forget them. Like we forgot ours, and I don't want to have to walk all the way back." To our to our room to do that, huff it up three flights of stairs just because I forgot my mask. Like if you make it a requirement, you need to have them to give. And he just didn't seem apologetic mm -hmm. about it at all, which really irritated me. And the last thing I don't say it was an ugly one, but uh, the food just seems a little bland here compared the food to. Quality, other, I think it's ugly yeah, because as a foodie, uh, it was not good. It looks really nice, but the taste is just not there for us. It, like, Even in the restaurants. I mean, not that we're pretty discerning as far as Asian food goes, because you guys all know we live in Asia for a while. The it, it didn't have the flavors, any of that yeah. stuff, and so I feel like it's kind of um, a not on par with what we wanted. Yeah, and so, when we went to the French restaurant, like you eat French food, you you want that buttery rich. It just wasn't any of that. Didn't hit the mark. And oh. the buffet, no way. The only time the buffet for us is good was breakfast. Breakfast was good because they had crepes and other goodies, but mm -mm. otherwise, skip it. Yep. So that's it. I hope you guys uh, don't flame us too much in the comments for what uh, like you said. <laughs> But really, all in all, we're trying is, to help you avoid a bad experience. I, I, I just, I, I think there's other resorts that are a little bit better right now to go to. I know I improve a little bit later on um, this, but we're just, we weren't happy here, and just so much so, I just want to get my points back and go somewhere else. And so, like we were able to do that, and so I'm just going to go up the street. I guess another video on it on the next. We may do two. another good bad family, <laughs> but not from hopefully not from a negative experience. Hopefully, it'll be a really good one, and there won't be much bad or ugly. At the new one. Mm -hmm. So we'll definitely keep you updated. Yep. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully, you had that helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to all our stuff. Yeah. And that's we'll it. We'll see you later. Bye.